Liberty Hangout preaches until their face is blue about the First Amendment right, that everyone has their freedom of speech, that they can't be censored, and that the right wing gets censored so much. But here's Liberty Hangout trying to censor commentary YouTubers, start copyright infringement cases, and threaten to sue us. Hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. If you want to join the cutie family, make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the little bell icon to get notified when I make new videos. All my socials will be linked down below if you want to follow me on Instagram or Twitter, join my Discord, or join my Patreon to support my content and get access to special features like video chats, conversations, voting on future videos, etc, etc. Before we jump into the video, I'm just going to give a quick shout out to some of my patrons. Shout out to Darren Gonzalez, Kylie Salazar, my queen Kylie, I love you, and Jody January. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. You have no idea how much it means to me that you are supporting my content because a lot of my videos do get demonetized and this is a big part of my income and keeps me making videos. So thank you so much. I love you guys forever. Now, Let's get into the video. Also, it's allergy season, so if my eyes look really swollen and my face looks puffy, it's because I'm dying of allergies. <laughs> it's really bad right now, so just bear with me for how my face is gonna look for the next month or so. <laughs> so if you guys don't know who Liberty Hangout is, Liberty Hangout is the YouTube channel that is hosted by Caitlin Bennett and her husband, Justin Maldo. Maldro? Maldro? He pronounced my last name wrong, I'll pronounce his last name wrong. You probably subscribe to me because you don't like Liberty Hangout, which fair enough, they're horrible people. When I got this email from YouTube showing their lawyers pleading the case that our videos should be taken down because we've violated copyright infringement, and if YouTube doesn't take it down, that they were going to take legal action against us and against YouTube. Of course, I'm awake at all hours of the night. I am an insomniac. I have sleep onset insomnia. I rarely sleep. I, as you can probably tell, along with the allergies, I, I just rarely sleep. I have big bags under my eyes all the time, dark circles, we get it. I don't sleep. So I'm sitting in my bed at like 4 a.m. and I get a notification uh, that YouTube emailed me and I'm like, why the hell would YouTube be emailing me at 4 a.m.? And I just saw copyright in the title and of course it's a big fear as a YouTuber to get an actual copyright strike. This doesn't mean that you just accidentally used someone's music or whatever in your thing. When someone copyright strikes your channel and you get three strikes, your channel can be completely deleted by YouTube, taken down and you don't even get a say. Copyright strikes for YouTubers are very serious. So of course I panicked, ran to the email, and slowly as I started reading, was literally dying of laughter, like pissing myself laughing. They thought they were so special in trying to do this that they could go around the actual system and take their legal team and try to make a big deal out of something that it's not. Um, so I'm gonna take you through the whole situation. I got an email from YouTube and it said, Hello, we've received the copyright infringement notification below regarding your videos. We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection. We are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your videos at this time. You have control over the availability of videos on your channel, including the ability to delete them if you choose. Please be advised, it is possible the copyright owner will approach you directly to request removal or take other action. This email is not intended as legal advice. If you are interested in more information regarding your options in this matter, you may wish to consult a qualified attorney. Underneath that, it says, begin copy of notice. Literally, Liberty Hangouts lawyer wrote an entire fucking dissertation uh, explaining why our videos should be taken down. This is absolutely insane and gave me a really good laugh and also enraged me, made me very angry because if you don't know, YouTube right now is my full-time job. This is my only source of income right now. I'm a very small channel. If I get copyright strikes, there's a large chance that my channel will be completely wiped out of existence. Bigger channels might be safe from that. You know, YouTube favors big channels, especially channels that rake in a lot of money. My channel is very small. You know, I only have 107,000 subscribers, which 
is huge to me, but in the grand scheme of YouTube, is a pretty small channel. So this is fucking with my livelihood. You've probably grown up and heard things like, oh, that's against boy code, or oh, that's against girl code. It's this kind of like unwritten rules of how you should act in order to respect people of your same grouping, right? So there's kind of like an unwritten YouTuber code. And one of the biggest rules in the unwritten YouTuber code is you do not try to get someone else's commentary channel video taken down for copyright. Because again, commentary channels are protected under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing Act in Canada and the United States and many other countries. So we are protected. And it is such a douchebag asshole move to try to get a commentary channel's video taken down when they're talking about you. Trisha Paytas does this a lot. She'll get small channels copyright striked for using her videos and stuff. Most of the time it won't happen, but when you're a big channel picking on a smaller channel, sometimes YouTube will favor the bigger channels. But Caitlyn didn't try to take down just a small channel like me. She tried to take down some big YouTube channels, including Sam Collins, who recently subscribed to me and I'm like fangirling because I love Sam Collins. If you didn't know, he's actually the reason I did my first Caitlyn Bennett video, which is why my channel took off. So I love you, Sam. You are a king and thank you for subscribing to me. I don't know if you're watching this, but you are my king. So Sam Collins, Roly, Christina Maoni, I'm Alex, The Young Turks, and Philip DeFranco. Between all of us, we have over 10 million subscribers. You were really trying to take down some really big YouTubers. And in doing so, you pissed off a lot of people. Like Sam Collins has, I think almost half a million subscribers. Roly has, I think 600,000 subscribers. I'm Alex has 2 million subscribers. The Young Turks have 4 million subscribers. And Philip DeFranco has over 6 million subscribers. And not to mention me, who has 107,000 subscribers. Again, it is the unwritten YouTuber code that you just don't copyright strike videos. But we'll get into that. They didn't actually do that. They tried to go around the rules. So usually when you think that someone is unfairly using your content, you can file for a copyright strike. You send it to YouTube. If they think that the person is taking your content and using it unfairly, they will copyright strike that person. If that person receives three copyright strikes, I think in a certain amount of time, their channel will get completely taken down. But if you try to put a copyright strike on someone else and YouTube goes, no, that wasn't a copyright strike, the person who's trying to attack that channel will get a strike onto their channel. If Liberty Hangout had gone about the situation the way you're supposed to go about the situation and it backfired, their channel would have ended up being taken down because that's multiple people who they tried to copyright strike, but it backfired on them. So that would have been more than three strikes on their channel and their channel would have been taken down. It's a risky thing. So what they did is they got their lawyer to write an entire fucking dissertation about why our content was copyright infringement and how our video should be taken down. So basically what the lawyer was trying to argue was that there is no doubt that Liberty Hangout works are displayed in the identified videos without license or permission. The reported YouTube channel operators did not contact LHO, which we don't have to if we're commenting on their channel. They used the LHO footage without permission, blocked watermarks, and have banners, advertising, and or video commercials. At various times, the LHO trademark has been removed from the footage. So what they're trying to say is that we took out their Liberty Hangout symbol or something like that, which I don't, I don't know if the other people did. I know blurred out the section where she was promoting her Patreon. It's my video. I don't need to be promoting your other personal monetary outlets. I can block that out. It has nothing to do with the content of your video. It has nothing to do with the integrity of your video. If anything, I said your name many times, Liberty Hangout, Caitlin Bennett, and even directed people if they wanted to go watch the video to go to your channel. Everyone knows where the video came from and if they didn't, it would be pretty easy to find. I don't have to promote your Patreon or your website on my channel. If I'm commenting on your video, I wanna be dealing with the content that's in your video, not the moments where you go, here's my Patreon or whatever, cause I don't need to be promoting your monetary outlets on my channel. They were saying that our videos were not covered under fair use and fair dealing, that we had violated fair use. 
which I will describe what that is in a second. And at the very end of what they were saying, the DMCA notice was the first step in LHO's pursuit of remedies. We believe that there is serious question whether a California jury will look favorably upon the operator's actions and the use of the footage. We hope that this resolves the matter and that you will do your duty and remove the infringing content. Feel free to respond with any additional questions and notifications that the infringing work has been removed from YouTube. Sincerely and of course, signed their lawyer. I think this is really funny because they went through all of that and then YouTube sent an email being like, yeah, so we're not taking down your content. It's protected by fair use and fair dealing. Everything's good. I just think this is so funny that they were like, so sure. They were like, I don't think that a California jury would um, be favorable to this. So you might just want to take them down before we sue. My absolute personal favorite part of the email though was Liberty Hangout creates content at great expense including personal expense and, at times, physical risk to its reporters, including Caitlin Bennett and Justin Maldo. This includes in the video footage identified in the DMCA takedown notices submitted to Google LLC YouTube. At great personal and physical expense. Yeah, that's kind of to be expected when you go out with a video camera trying to harass people, calling gay people disgusting, being homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic, racist, and all around just disrespectful telling women you think that their right to vote should be taken away. Just because your videos are at great expense doesn't make them any more special and doesn't mean that people like me can't comment on them. It's just so funny to me. It's like, oh, at great physical expense. It is your choice to go out on the street and harass people. You don't have to be putting yourself at great physical risk. Like what the fuck? That part to me was just so hilarious. You literally go on the streets and harass people. You antagonize them. You tell them their opinions are wrong. You tell them they're disgusting. You laugh at them. You make fun of them. What do you expect? People to just be like, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, love that for me. No, dipshits. And you bet if you're gonna be a disrespectful asshole and go on the street and harass people, I'm gonna comment on it. So in the United States, it's called fair use. In Canada, it's called fair dealing. Fair dealing is an exception in the Canadian Copyright Act that outlines the permitted unauthorized use of copyrighted materials for specific mandated purposes. In Canada, these purposes include research, private study, education, parody, satire, criticism, review, or news reporting. For research and private study, education, parody, and satire, no special requirements are required. For criticism, review, and news reporting, the source and author must be named, which they were in all of our videos, to constitute fair dealing. The Copyright Act of Canada, section 29, says the following. Fair dealing for the purpose of criticism or review does not infringe copyright if the following are mentioned. The source, if any given source, the name of the author in the case of the work, performer in the case of a performer's performance, maker in the case of sound recording, or broadcaster in the case of communication signal. All you have to do is name them in it. I'm pretty sure all of us named Caitlin Bennett. We used her name in all of it. We even directed you to go watch the video yourself if you would like to. None of this is infringing upon copyright. So yes, commentary channels are protected under fair use and fair dealing. Our commentary on your videos, as long as we're adding something specific to it, we're not just playing your video. As long as we are commenting on it, we are reporting on it, we are creating parody, satire, making something of it our own, it is not a copyright infringement. So the fact that Caitlin Bennett and Liberty Hangout went around the original system to write a fucking dissertation about why our videos need to be copyright striked, taken down, and if not, they're threatening to sue not only YouTube, but us creators, is absolutely insane. You had to have looked as a lawyer on what fair use and fair dealing acts are and how we are protected under that. If you think you have some sort of special case because we blocked your logo or we didn't promote your Patreon on our channels, is absolutely insane. Look at all of the people who do commentary videos. You can't just copyright strike people for doing commentary videos because you don't like what they're saying. This is absolutely so hilarious to me because Caitlin Bennett and Liberty Hangout and Justin Maldo go on for days, go on for days about the First Amendment right to free speech and how many social media platforms will censor right-winged people. They go on about it, we're censored, we're censored, we're against censorship, freedom of speech, the First Amendment right. But here you are, not liking what us commentary YouTubers are saying. 
So you're attempting to take legal action in order to censor us and to remove our videos. You guys are all for the First Amendment right, for freedom of speech, for no censorship, until it inconveniences you, until someone's talking about you, and now you want them to be censored. But here you are, Liberty Hangout, Caitlin Bennett, you're the biggest hypocrites of them all, trying to censor progressive and liberal YouTubers. These are some big name YouTubers you tried to take down with millions of subscribers. What, are you scared of a few commentary channels? Think we're dragging your name through the mud? Giving you a bad reputation? No, I think you're doing a great job of that yourself. It's pathetic and hypocritical for you to try to take down our videos. And not to mention, you failed in doing so. If you can't handle commentary, get the fuck off YouTube. That's all I got for this video. Thank you so much for coming along and watching. I love you cuties so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.